When you get a blessing, you take care of that blessing. You take you always take care of anything you want to keep. What camera looking at me right now? You can go that. right there. Hey, bro, you can do whatever the hell you want to. Talking about you go f it up, bro. I didn't f it up before too. N I'm telling you, I didn't f it up before. But anything that you don't want to take care of is gone. Welcoming in on the One More Time podcast, legendary Atlanta artist. It's Young Dro. No, on no. the pod right I said, now. I said his nickname yes. was Dro. What? I said his nickname was Dro. It's this not, isn't Young Dro. It's not Young Dro. No, this is fucking legendary <laughs> producer Mexico <laughs> Dro in the motherfucking that building. Plug. Yes, sir. God, the king of plug. Yes, sir. Bro, so I'm not gonna lie. We met one time when we were playing basketball, some pickup basketball. But then, um, you know, I was I was watching interviews, preparing for this one. And you've like been very reserved in former interviews, like in previous interviews, uh, like not talking very much, bro. Like even to the point where Dirty Glove Bastards off the porch had to be like, hey, it's been 25 yeah. minutes. <laughs> we inter we were interviewing you and Lil Surf and like you haven't said one word, but off camera, we were like, this dude's a chatty motherfucker. So I'm, I'm like hoping that we get that, you know, for, I don't know, like I'm just... You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we can open you up on, on on camera. You know what I mean? Yeah, about that situation. You know, he um that was his interview. I wouldn't. I ain't want to step in the interview. I ain't want you know everything to be on me and stuff like that. I, I pulled up to show support. I was there for a reason. And um and it wasn't to talk. It wasn't to talk. It was <laughs> yeah. it was just it was to support. Okay. Sure. Well, so, this is the Mexico Dro interview. Sometimes you got to show support. You never outshine masters or anything. Whatever that's going on. So it's like you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I no, I I uh, love that. So you guys were talking about this before, and I really want to like get him some advice. Mexico Dro is in the process of building out your own studio. Yeah, right. Right. So he right. came in here. Henry has spent thousands and thousands of dollars. All right, you don't have to call me out like, with the building exact out dollar amount. Building that, out this yeah. studio in yes, here. Yes. That's off camera. Uh, <laughs> so like, where are you at in the process right now? Like, how, how far are you? Um, shit, bro. I'm almost goddamn like IKEA far. <laughs> I got a table. You're like you're like one trip away from going to IKEA. Yeah, I, nah, I already went to IKEA. Oh shit, yeah. he's gone to IKEA. Um, okay. Just gotta put it together. Yeah, I just got a little table. Um, you know, I had some 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 monitors and shit like that from my last little spots and stuff like that. So what do you got? You got some KRK, some Yamahas, JBLs. JBLs, JBLs are high. Now I don't know what side they. Uh, all I know is they biggest heel. I yeah, know, I don't know. How Probably to, seven or eight. Maybe inches. the size of the, the pot right there. Okay, okay. <laughs> some big ass speakers. Yeah, so it's, it's, they're on both sides. You, know, you got a yeah, subwoofer, yeah, right? I got a JBL I, I subwoofer. Don't got no sub. Come on, bro. Mexico Dreads can't have honest, the base. You, I don't even like to use my speaker. I don't even like to use the monitors because it's like. Who do you use? Headphones? Sometimes headphones, sometimes regular. I like this type. Laptop speaker? speaker? Yeah, 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 yeah. Laptop yeah. speaker. I like sometimes. That's, that's, that's amazing. It's funny, like, you'd think that the bass might not translate as well, but, like, that's the Ronnie J approach. Ronnie J was I, making all his shit on, on laptop speakers, and he wanted to hear his bass, so the bass would end up super loud because he would mix it in a way where he could hear the bass in the laptop the speakers. Laptop speaker fan, so when man. you put it on a system with a sub, that shit was booming. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm about to tell you about it. Add a HP Pavilion DV7, and it's a Beats audio laptop. The best audio I ever got. Like, I, I done made all my hits out that shit. Like, really? Without no towers, without no monitors, none of that shit. No subwoofers, no, sometimes no headphones. Wow. I just make it right down the spot, and shit, it, I done made a couple hits. I made real hits. I'm talking about, I don't even want to say the name of the hits because. Let's say it. Drake? Let's say them. Nah, they're not. Let's man. say them, bro. Come <laughs> on, Joe. We man, want some exclusive. Come on. No, but it sounds like HP needs to drop the bag. On yeah, this bag. absolutely. So, as someone who has gone down the like studio build out, you know, experience. Yeah. You know what? Are, like, you know, give them some like some things to look out for. Like, you know what I mean? Some gotchas. You know what I'm saying? It's like, funny because like the shit that people like maybe don't know about ends up being like a defining characteristic of someone's art. Like fucking it up. Like it, it might actually work out. Well, it's not fucking it up though. It's just oh, becomes yeah? it's the dro sound now, bro. Like now people are wondering how do I get the dro sound? They need to just not buy speakers. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, um, a lot of people want to get. The sound and stuff like that. And oh, they want the drill sound. Bro, for sure. DMs forever. How do I but, do it? Um, bro, what I can tell somebody mine, the best thing to do is be original. You know, come out and do some sounds and shit yourself because you can possibly come out with some fire shit 
Then everybody gonna wanna copy your shit. Yeah. Don't copy nobody else's shit and try to go crazy with it. It's not going. You will never be where you want to go to doing shit like that. You must be original and you must come out with your own shit. If you come out with your own shit, everybody going to be like you. Yeah. So it's because straight up because I know in a previous interview you like straight up told I think producer grind where you were like, yeah, like I don't give away the sauce. Like is that still your your philosophy and is that the reason why? Because you want people to be. Their own fucking thing. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, even with oh, look, I net anymore, fuck. <laughs> but uh, even with everybody who excuse me, make plug beats and you know they they make they do their own verses of the plug sound. Like you know, I ain't a hater. Like I said before, man. Like, man, embrace that shit. Yeah, yeah. If that's what you want to do, handle your business. I ain't I ain't sitting around talking about. Oh, I don't fuck with Shotty because he got them make the same type of shit did. I make and shit like that. It's shit lame. Yeah. So yeah, I embrace all the up and coming young producers and stuff like that who want to make this sound and want to keep this sound. They keeping the sound going. Yeah. This shit ain't gonna go nowhere. I don't know how long. I can't even. Man, I, to be honest with you, man, it's 2023. I started making. I, nigga, I put my first <coughs> music out like in 2014. <coughs> I that came home. Bless you, bro. Appreciate it. I that came home. Yeah. Are you surprised it's lasted this long? Did you have any expectations that your career would I'm, last this long? I'm not surprised. I'm going to tell you why I ain't surprised. You believed in yourself. And I believe in high power. Yeah. Sure. And yeah, I got me. I feel like the offshoots too, like the, the, the plug and B and the hyper plug and all this stuff has definitely played a role in keeping it going, the evolutions of it. You know what I mean? So Very SoundCloud, so, you know, SoundCloud did that documentary, uh, scenes plug, right. And obviously you were like a pretty prominent figure throughout that, that documentary. I enjoyed that. I've watched it like three I, times. I liked it a lot, but as someone who was in it and obviously like was one of the originators of this, this sound, do you think that it represented the plug, you know, culture and the plug sound accurately? Yeah. How'd they do? Yeah. How, you know, how do you feel about that? Cause you saw it. You never watched it? You didn't watch it? Well. <laughs> hey, man, I want to say, I want to say, man, thank you for everybody who had anything to do with that, that club, anything to do with anything, you know, pertaining to the plug stuff with SoundCloud. You know, that just, that's different, brother. Like, I ain't finna talk bad about nothing. I ain't, you know, I'm yeah. about to, I appreciate that. I really do. Because they didn't have to do that. Yeah. They didn't have to. And then one thing about it, you know, I ain't going to say that, you know, they was 100% accurate with it. But what I will say is I do appreciate that, you know. Like, even with my plugs and stuff like that, I would tell them, hey, bro, I ain't want to do this. I ain't want to do that. Because everybody went in this project and everybody ain't, you know what I'm saying? But, um, there seemed like some characters in there that I was surprised to be in there. Is yeah, is that yeah, I, is that fair? <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, we're we'll leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I enjoyed the cinematography of it. I thought that it was, it was a well put together. a well put together piece of content. I am not the like plug historian, so I can't really like no. weigh into how accurate it was. But but, nah, but to your point, to even show love and like shine light on that subgenre I, 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 is super I, dope. This, I don't know if you know. I don't really know if they knew this shit or not. But you know, I I ain't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. But my plugs, man, they like, bro, Joe, bro, you got to do this shit, bro. Bro, they can't have a plug documentary without you in it. No, it doesn't even make sense. That's fucking blasphemy is it the same with this podcast did you do you not want to do this podcast either or just kind of nah, like, no, like, <laughs> you know like i said before with the, um the last situation in the the interview they had to go to i showed support so i kind of showed support to y'all much I love got, that's yeah, love absolutely i know um you know i done broke his ankle before and, <laughs> it crossed him I, up yeah i done dunked on him man there yeah man, man, sh you know, I, I don't quite remember it that way. You don't remember though, that? No, no, I don't. It's probably facts. I think you're talking about whoa. Uh, and and, I, and <laughs> I've mixed we, one of your did, projects. We did have to wake the man up, so it's like, you know, you can't really remember too much when you yeah. sleep. 
in, in, you were asleep. Yeah, and I did, and I did get the opportunity to mix Hugo Dro by Hugo Joe and Mexico Dro. Even though you were locked up for that process, yeah, you still man, got to see it come out. That's crazy when you when you when I heard about that, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I I appreciate that, bro. You got there and get with. That's why I came and showed the support. For sure. No, it's easy when like and, the beats already have like I was, a sound. I was, I was gone at the moment. I ain't really know too much of anything. I came back on. You know. Shit was going up. It was a lot of shit going on. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't want to, like, you know, get into too much about, like, I'm not, like, Vlad TV, of like, why were you locked up? Oh, what crimes yeah, did you we, do? We, nah, we, but <laughs> but, but I, I do want to just get your opinion on, like, how do you feel that being away, you know, throughout your career has impacted, like, how far you've got? You know what I mean? Like, has it played a role in your Success has it held you back at all? Like, talk to us about the impact it's had, though. Okay, so it, that shit had a tremendous impact on my life. Everything, anything that I think, like even when I move, I've been through it before. So I'm, I'm tired of going through this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you be tired of going through shit. Like, keep going through shit, and it's just like, God right, damn, I'm, I'm gonna keep going through this dumb ass shit. Yeah, I got tired of myself. I was like, nigga, I'm tired. So I had to learn from that. And I had to got I had to apply it to my life. I had to stop doing certain si shit and certain you know what I'm saying, being in certain situations and places and stuff like that, man. Just like instead of being at these different places and all that shit, man. You know, it used to be hard for me to get in the studio. Like the studio was easy for me to get into, but I would just it was just hard getting me in that motherfucker. Like I just didn't want to be in those studios. Instead of being in the studio, I wanted to be on blocks and you know what I'm saying, just doing stupid ass. Like, damn, nigga, all you had to do was just make some beats. Yeah. Make some music, nigga. Like, you... To be fair, the money is a lot slower Man. from making beats. A lot. <laughs> it takes you know, sometimes it, producers it, get it paid is tough. It ain't, bro. You just got to use your head for real. Use your head, bro. Yeah. And you actually sit down and strategize and think. See, one thing about what they say, bro, like, you know, when people take naps and go to sleep and stuff like that, you know, you, you, you can be... It, and you can have an advantage in, in work and you can study it, do whatever you want to do. Or you can take a nap. You can goddamn go to sleep and you can think their life a game and you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you can, I don't know, I don't even know really what I want to even say. But I feel like why people taking naps and doing this and doing that, playing the game and shit. Shit, I like to make beats and shit. Like, I got them. I just started just tapping in and all that shit. I'm trying to stay a step or three above a, another person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, shit. When did you start making beats? It's a small percentage that's focus. Yeah. Yeah, when did you start making beats? Like, how young were you? Nine years old. Nine years old? So you got like a crack copy of FL or something like that? Kind of. That's how a lot of people start. <laughs> it was FL7. I don't know how I got it, but... Yeah, I used that shit. I actually, I, I'm gonna tell you the real truth. It went in my laptop, and it was on there. You you stumbled across it. It landed in your lap. <laughs> you know my cousin. He, you know, we um. He stumbled across it. Nah, nah. He he taught me um. What FL Studio was. Did you see the post that went viral of the guy that started FL recently? It's just like a white guy with long hair and all the like Atlanta producers were like showing him it, love. I seen it. I seen it. What I do not remember his name, but I tried to do a little study, but it felt like it felt like they tried to take butt out. Like I feel his, like his I feel like people were showing him love. Hard. Yeah, it, it, I'm saying his name, like trying to search him up. Oh yeah. Like, it was hard, like to find him. Yeah. Yo, so I feel like in twenty eighteen or something, you had said that you couldn't even name a chord. Like a music chord, like so. Well, that's so a, yeah, like can you today in twenty twenty three? Nope. Wow. So no music theory at all. I got music theory now. Oh, okay, sorry. I just, <laughs> I just, I, you know, you know that like this eight oh eight needs to be a D minor for the, like. I'm gonna tell you one thing. You can listen to my melodies. You can listen to my eight oh eight. You can listen to anything I make. It got a certain type of. Feel a soul yeah, to it, feeling. So I know my, I know music theory. It's just I just don't know no notes. Like I yeah. don't know how to, I don't know how to play instruments and stuff like that. But I play everything I make. Yeah, any melody, 
any beat. You hear? I played that shit. Yeah, you're not a loop man. I, I sat down and played it. Yeah. And I did a dance too. I was sitting there dancing, playing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I played it. So I don't I don't know how to click and stuff like that for real. I know how to play the shit. So whatever I play and whatever come to my fingertips, that's what it is. But I can tell you, I don't know no notes. I don't know. I don't even know how what a A, B, C. <laughs> I see it be like C equal some shit. I don't I'd be like, what the <laughs> Have you ever con- or C number some shit? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever considered trying to learn it, or has that not even crossed your mind? I feel like it would fuck like, up the sound, right? I feel like I feel like shit. Would, I feel like it wouldn't be dro. Nah, it ain't that. What is it? <laughs> what is it, dro? <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed with this shit, bro. Like, bro. Yeah. I'm blessed with it, bro. Like it's deeper than just some notes, and it's deeper than all that, bro. If I can come out my fingertips and play all this shit, bro, you know it's deeper than that, bro. Yeah. I don't even care to even learn how to play no instruments. I feel like shit. If I pick some up, and I just started getting a feeling for it, and want to bend some sounds and shit, and make some shit, that's my God-given talent. I ain't finna be sitting around learning no notes and how to play something. And, Man, I don't know how to do it. I don't even know how to play ABC. I don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> and the cool shit about modern day production is like if you know how to input notes into a DAW, you could you're basically you're playing every instrument. Like why learn a real instrument? You could play everything if you know how to program something, you know? It's kinda changed the game. I be feeling like air beat I make God be right there like, hey, bro. Do this. <laughs> yeah. It come out I'm talking about crazy. I'm yes. talking about everybody like this shit. They yeah. like the sample packs and everything, like. Yeah, I was literally about to ask you because, all right, so, you know, Henry's a producer, engineer, obviously you're a producer. Uh, I'm the non like music maker here in the, uh, you know, in the equation. I always want to live vicariously through some of our guests as far as like when that, when that melody comes out or like those 808s come out, like what's that feeling like? So it kind of said, you know, it, each, it, each piece in the melody that I make, I whistle it. I got I, I think of it in my head, like the yeah. sound, I think of all this shit in my head, each sound that I put. Each bell they hit, I got to, I, I whistle this shit. I be thinking about, I just, I just think about these things in my head. Like, each beat I make, I think it in my head before I put it down on the damn, what's the name, on the mixer board. You know who that sounds like? Damn. You know who that sounds like? I don't even know who it say. It sound like me. It sound like God just it's, talking. It reminds me of Timbaland, who goes in and records like, and then, and then the snare goes like, and, and like so he, so he, he visions every sound before it's get, it before gets put it, into the program. Okay, so guess he what? He hears it. So Timberland, that right there, that's that's an angel. That's the he's assigned to be right here and make this music the way he made this music. Yes, you hear how them hits he made. You said Timberland. Yes, Timbo, Big Timbo. We've all he heard. Just of said him. That you just said he do the same shit that uh-huh. I do. He, you know, he's successful as hell. <laughs> he is. But we ain't gonna say hell, but he's successful. He's very successful. Yes. So you know successful that? as fuck. Is that would you prefer that? Successful as heaven. <laughs> Boom. Damn, Henry. I might get yeah, on the yeah, mic man. later. But Some we bars. gonna um man around that man right though. He that's an angel right though, bro. Yeah. Do you have like a ton of like iPhone voice memos that are just you whistling shit? <laughs> you know, I'm just wondering, like, yeah. you know? Like if something comes to you while you're like driving or some shit, are you are you whistling the melody you in your phone crazy. or some shit? You just call that shit spot on too. Yeah. You yeah. do that? Because I, I think I do got some beats in my damn memo. <laughs> that's that just I, you? That, that I whistle and yeah. I actually made. So, yeah. No. That's what it does. I need, that's amazing. I need to check that no, nah, because I know some artists do that for, you know, their own vocal Yeah, tracks. they get like an idea in the car and yeah. just have to get it down. Yeah. I'm never really like that. I, I'm usually like... I got to be in front of the computer ready to execute it before I really like do it, which I don't know. I guess everyone's different. Yeah. So once again, I want to ask both of you guys, you know, you know, given the producer, uh, I guess, you know, synergy here, what is the most satisfying feeling as a producer, right? Like what, you know, what part of the job would, you know, I'd, I'd like to ask each of you, honestly, like what, what is the best part of being a producer? The best part of being a producer to me, is being able to keep making beats. Keep making beats. And you got the younger people who want to make beats like you. That's that's the most satisfying yeah. shit. Right? So having your sound, like people wanting 
to yeah. to mimic it and like Ooh. draw inspiration from it. Yeah, that's got to feel fucking great. I have no idea. What, yeah, what that feels like. Yeah, <laughs> but that, that's fine. But like, what's you know? I mean, like for you, what's your most satisfying like feeling? Uh, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like I like when an artist hears a beat and is like, I need that one. You know, like I need that one. Send that to me right now. I'll and start writing like, to it right now. That's like instant gratification, like, right? Yes, thank you. Like that's what I was thinking. Like this is perfect for you. You know, so with God, that, but, that's kind of a. But bro, what about the opposite? Like I'm sure you've even though you know people skipping your shit. Yeah, like yeah, is anyone you know skipping beats that like you felt like were the ones, or are you like batting a hundred all the time? Yeah. Okay, all the time. Yeah, everybody ain't got the same ear. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hear what they hear. Yeah. That's so that's she, gotta be like that hurts my nah, soul when I hear I, people. Guess what? It's a beauty to that. Why? Yeah. So, yeah how come? Because I'm about to put y'all on game. Put us on this game, bro. We, we need that. Find you an artist and try to construct on a rap on this certain type of sound and this certain beat that you got. Like, like challenge just, them. Just challenge them a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, See if you can got them. Do this and do that on this beat, and you know help them with the melody or whatever. You, you know, just try to get it done. I you know for a favorite song that I got, and I got an artist that I'm working with. Shit, hell yeah, yeah, I'm goddamn. I'm gonna try to put. I'm gonna try to align that together. Yeah, because you may never know if I like this, and I got an artist that I could put on this motherfucker. And we can build some shit. Like, man, come on now. I think it was Coop that was talking about like yeah, I, playing beats that he never thought would get picked, or like this is too weird for this person and. They end up connecting and creating something new that he didn't expect. Yeah, I think what's most interesting about what you said is that, you know, a lot of our audience might be what we would maybe call more beat makers or like, you know, bedroom producers that are just sending out beats and they're not always going to be able to be in the studio, right? But I think if you can be there with the artist and help challenge them or help craft the actual song, which is what it sounds like you like to do, where you're helping with melodies, you're helping with flows, maybe cadences, whatever. Like that sounds like the most beautiful part. Yeah. Is that, is that what you like the best is like being in the room and actually helping like beyond just you the know, beat? Crazy. Yeah. Blow your mind. Oh man. I'm, yes. I love this. That's what called. That's, that's what being a producer is called. That's a real production, bro. Yeah. You're not producing if you're not in the room, really. You're just making beats. Period. Yeah, that, Try to tell people that, that man. People that, still don't understand. That shit out too. Yeah. yeah. I thought producing man shit. You make some beats. DJ Khaled is a is a producer. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't make beats. He's like one of the top producers because he's in the room. He's, he's producers make phone calls. You know what nah, I mean? It's, and it's, they sit yeah. in the room and they have ideas. That, that, that ain't that easy. I'm talking about like producers produce producers make. Like producers come with like even when the, even with the vocals and stuff like that with the melodies you you gotta you gotta get your inputs you gotta you gotta have a vision for the song as a whole you gotta you gotta right? help out yes you gotta be a, a certain type of help to make a certain type of record yeah even vocal production like telling someone to do it one more time one you know what I mean and I think that just makes you so much more valuable too to the whole process right it's like people can find another person that can send them a a beat that they just already know what to do with. You and just get on YouTube, bro. Like, yeah. If you wanna, just want a beat. I feel like it makes you so much more valuable if you're able to really help bring something to the table that wouldn't have already been there before, yeah. you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your, what's your like work life balance like these days, right? Like, are you a fucking workaholic where you don't have a second to yourself or do you find time for yourself to do shit outside of music? I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that, but... I mean, shit, I be goddamn. I be, I be working a lot. I be, I be working. What do you like to do yeah, outside of studio, making music? I'm in the studio with about three, four days out of the week. Three to three, three four, four yeah. Days out the week. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you like to do outside of the studio? Shit. Still hooping? Kicking with the dogs. I like to goddamn. I like to work out. What's that? Boxing? I like to train. Okay. Train what? I like to train. <laughs> Damn, we got a jujitsu uh, fighter, like a mixed martial artist. Might not ever know. Black belt. I like, you know, I like to dwell. I mean, y'all looking kind of strong over there, man. Uh, yeah. What you mean? Yeah, no, pal. I was just giving you a compliment, nah, but like, nah, we could take it there. Nah, nah, I'm just playing though, but um, yeah, man, I got down, bro. I, I like to do. You know what I'm saying? I like to just, I like to be chitting, you know, staying out the way. Yeah. Doing what I got to do, stay out the way, handle my business, take care of my family, 
do you have like certain ways to, to get inspired to make music? Cause like, I feel like it has to come with certain inspiration. Like you can't just like every day feel it. Right. So like, are there certain things that you like to do? I mean, shit, bro. Like even we're going to the studio and shit every day, nobody want to go to the studio every day. But you know, I'd be like, shit, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get this over with and make and put together my best. And it's going to pay off at the end. Yeah. Whatever I got going on, it's gonna pay out. Do you have and periods where you do, do you have periods where you'll like lock in for like two weeks straight and just go hard and then take a break, or is it pretty consistently just Man, bro. No breaks. Yeah. He, you know what Jesus said, by all means. By all means. Yeah. Who's the most important like person on a producer's team, right? Because we've heard from a lot of people that like lawyers or, you know, some people say A&Rs, managers, whatever, like, you know, who do you feel is, you know, for producers out there, like, who, who should they make sure they have on the team? Producers got to make sure they have a, a lawyer that they trust. You got to have a lawyer that you trust. You got to, you ain't got no lawyer that you trust. It's like, shit, you might as well just, you might as well kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm saying it's, it's just like that, bro, like, you got a, a fucked up lawyer, bro, and they just doing bad business. It's just like, bro. Have you dealt with that? No, nah, I ain't never dealt with it. Okay, good. Yeah. So the lawyer. But I'm trying to avoid, you know what I'm saying, everybody else from dealing with it. Yeah. You got to have a lawyer that you can trust. So if you meet that person and right out the bat, he'd be like, hold on, I don't know about him. <laughs> then that's what it is. You got to go to the next lawyer. But you're supposed to always have a lawyer and a manager. Yeah, and definitely a manager that you can trust. My, I trust my manager with, with man, bro. I can leave a million dollars with my manager right now for a year, and he'd only take like a hundred k or so. <laughs> <laughs> that man wouldn't touch. He wouldn't touch no money. Yeah, he wouldn't touch no money. I can trust that man with with everything. Yeah, so it'll be one point right. two next year. Oh, you feel me? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be way more than that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so obviously, you know, you got the the big Drake placement. Uh, what was that off Dark Dark Demo days? What's yeah. That? yeah, 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 Dark Lane from Florida with Love. Um, and so I know you've talked about like how you got the placement, but for me, I mean, the fact that you know he's shouting out Mexico in the hook, plug is My being, God. um, yeah, yeah, plug is being like you know, said throughout the fucking record. I mean, that that's huge. So for me, how, how did that actually change your career, right? Because every producer that is listening is like, bro, if I just get a Drake placement, this is going to happen, right? So like speak candidly about like, how did it actually impact the Mexico Dro I, I ain't, I ain't career? Finna, I ain't finna. All right, so look. All right, so. Did your price go up? Yeah, you know the price went up. <laughs> you know that shit. You know that price went up. Yeah. You mind? But I, but I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to go too... You, you need some? Oh, yeah. I wasn't trying to go too crazy in jail. Right, yeah, man. Shit, bro. We living in some, some crazy time, bro. Everybody ain't rich, shit. I, I don't know. I just felt like shit. I, maybe I probably would be in too fast or something. I don't know. But I went, I, I went up a little bit, but I ain't going too, too crazy. Yeah. I went up too, too quiet. But did like the, did the, you know, offer start pouring in? Like, you know, just, just everyone thinks that like everything's going to change overnight and just like, you're about to get a, you know, multi-million dollar pub deal. You're going to have every fucking artist hitting you up. Like did, did stuff like that start yeah, to happen? Know, as far as that and shit like that, you got to be smart about your business. You got to be smart, man. Like. Man, I can I can talk forever about this shit. I ain't even finna say too much, but you just gotta be smart about your business, and you gotta know you know what's enough. You can't be too greedy. You gotta know what you you gotta know what you can handle, and whatever God bless you with. You know you gotta treat that accordingly. You can't be you can't he ain't gonna keep blessing you and you keep fucking up whatever it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like we've heard so many stories of people who have let the money and like greed fuck situations up. Yeah. So like people asking for crazy ass advances when they're not shit really, be and just, it be just asking for shit. You gotta understand, like, 
what you get yourself into. And everybody got to realize, you know, we all grown. And it's like, some folks don't give a fuck whatever situation you going through, whatever you going through. You got to make this shit happen. And if you don't, nigga, shit, it's over with. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I just, I do feel like everyone thinks that just if the, if the Drake placement hits, that like you're never going to have to worry about any placement hit. It don't matter whatever you get. Anything you get, you get a blessing out of it. You got to take care of that blessing. You can treat that blessing as an asset. You can treat that blessing as a liability. Ooh. Yeah. It's best for you to treat the blessing as an asset so you can make better blessings and more blessings out of it. So that's what I say, shit. You know, y'all nigga, man, you know, you can do what the fuck you want. If What, what camera looking at me right now? We can go right there. Hey, bro, you can do whatever the hell you want to, nigga. I'm talking about you go fuck it up, bro. I didn't fucked it up before, too, nigga. I'm telling you, I didn't fucked up before. But, you know, I'm telling you off of experience, hey, man, put that shit up. Yeah. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck them hoes. Fuck goddamn whatever. Being around shit, want to pull up and shirt and shit. Just, just, just sit on it, just wait. Stack up. And they'll be in and when you get a blessing, it's not time to kick your feet up. It's time to even potentially work harder. That's where a lot of people get messed up. They get a record deal. They think you, they're coasting. When you get a blessing, you take care of that blessing. You take. You always take care of anything you want to keep. Yeah. If you don't, where that shit go? So you lose that shit. Ain't no, ain't no shake it. No, it's gone. Yeah. Anything that you don't want to take care of is gone. You got to take care of whatever you, you know, want to keep. Yeah, I, I love that approach, man. Like, like nurturing the blessing and like really like watering that shit so it grows into more. Like, you know what I mean? Like that, that whole just philosophy, I feel like to your point, everyone might get that and just act a little reckless and not really take it or kind of take it for granted, I feel like, right? And not really put their, like double down into it, like you said, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, so it's it's not really necessarily a lot of people are gonna do it. It's just, you know, some people are gonna do what they wanna do, but you just gotta know, just you, you gotta know, you know what I'm saying? Worry about you. Yeah. And you know, you know, you take care of certain things, you gonna keep certain things. Relationships, vehicles, houses, grass, Flowers, you know, it, it, it's all everything. For sure. Was that beat specifically made for Drake, or was that made for another artist before that? The beat was specifically made for Drake. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I feel like it was so different. Yeah, forty on it. Forty uh, sent me the the. I ain't gonna say too much. What? Like a loop? Come on, man. We can, let's get a little exclusive here. <laughs> Come on, Joe. His song's already out. You were so close. <laughs> he sent me the playbook. Ooh, okay. Well, I know I know for a fact that the 40 sound is like, you know, uh, low pass filters. He's he's EQing out a lot of the high end on a lot of his melodies and stuff to leave room at the top so that vocal like cuts through, which I think was definitely the case on that song as well. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but that's at least like part of the 40 sound. You know what I mean? 40 go crazy. 40 yeah. got, man, he made a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. 40 Drake, we talk about like artist yeah. producer duos. They're up there. Yeah, who's your favorite artist producer duo? That's a hard ass question. It right? is. That's why we're here. <laughs> we ask the tough questions, Joe. Gucci Zay. He knows who he wants to say, but Gu he's Gucci like. Gucci Zay? Nah, bro, I got y'all know I gotta sit here and think about this shit, man. All right, come got, on. Y'all done brought this here and that, man. We did. <laughs> What we did. Hell, man, I brought the big Blame, ass body. Look at this. And the king palm. Blame it on the hen. <laughs> and the king palm was. Yeah. And we mixed it with the guayaki here, Bamate. Appreciate you guys. We got all of our sponsors in the works. You're right. We didn't do some, some damage on it. Like, dude, look at this shit. <laughs> I know, bro. Y'all can see this, man. Look at this. Man, <laughs> Only the best for Mexico Drill, bro. Come on. And then he asked me, who was your favorite artist in right. producer duo? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
I should have asked this at the beginning of the interview. Should have before I pulled up. I should have texted you. Hey, bro, just don't forget. I'm gonna ask you this question towards the end of the interview. Yeah, before goddamn you get to to the interview, bro. How you feel about this? Like, I could have just read your answer for you. You texted me this. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Right now. <laughs> He's like in this state of mind. Here's my answer. <laughs> hey, you heard the new man, man, Savage and Mitch go drove nine. Nah, man, I gotta check it out, man. This, that's what's going on. Everybody listening to shit. I ain't heard that. We literally just posted, posted a, a man, clip. man, Savage clip. I'm not even. Yeah, kidding. from interviewing him. Yeah, we fuck with man, man. Nine, come on, man. Y'all ain't heard of that new nine. Uh, I gotta check that out, bro. Oh, we will what, right after. What, what was that? Him and Tony. To. Man, no, you because him and Tony have a song too no, that just came out. Man, is a project from him and Mitch Go Dro. They just dropped. Shit, it's crazy, bro. That was going on, bro. Damn, I don't, how do we not know hey, about bro, this? I'm pissed. Out, and I be riding it this every day. I thought that was your job. To how do we find that out? Well, just between both of us. I mean, I don't know about that. I don't know how. Yeah, I got to check out, out, man. I'm just, Fuck, you know, man. That's why I'm here to tell you. God sent me here to tell you this. Right. <laughs> and I'm so glad that he did. Yes. You no, know, so I had, you know. Because I, I love Mexico gotta, Dro and I love Man Man Savage. I so got to deliver the message. Yes. Yeah. All right, message received. So and, that, will, and that's the answer for artist producer duo right there, too. Apparently, it's yeah. Mexico Dro and. Oh, no, uh, wait, that's not down for right now. Okay, okay. well, right. that was a nice little <laughs> warm up. That was a good, that was a nice plug. But let's go into. Outside of Mexico, Dro and Man Man Savage. Okay. Artist producer duos, baby. Come on. We need it. Maybe like a Metro Future. Don't put anything in his head, bro. Jesus. I'm just getting the gears turning, bro. Well, yeah. We just did with Man Man Savage and Mexico, Dro. That was the gear starting. That to was turn. the gears. Yes. All right. My bad. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> look, at his, look at his face. I got bro. a sound. Yo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tro, give me yeah, one, bro. I don't know, shit. All right, keep naming some. Maybe he doesn't need the gears oh, to be turned oh. in. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Bank and D Rich. Wow. Low key. Yeah. Deep cut. That is a deep cut. Yeah. I like it. Damn. Okay, Joe. All right. So you're wearing. A Booker Suns jersey right now. My God, I'll I be wearing my jersey. You literally own how many jerseys do you own? I, I don't know. I, I got jerseys though. I wear jerseys, man. It, this is what I be wearing. Like a whole closet full? No, I ain't gonna say all that on that podcast. <laughs> Damn, Joe. <laughs> no, man, you know. All right, what's your favorite jersey? I'm, I'm in the area where you can't be saying all that, man. You know, <laughs> and I don't keep out my jerseys, but you know, you got yeah. locations. I got locations and um okay jersey locations. But one thing I, I, I gotta got spread a, them out. I got a few jerseys. Okay, yeah. Give me, give me a few of your favorites, your most prized possessions. Man, I like my Hawks. You know, I love my Hawks. I love that with my heart. I protect my Hawks. What, like yeah. a Matumbo or like man, what do you got? Man, I got that too. You got all of them. Uh, I got Matumbo. I got Young. Yep. Shit, we can go to we can go to Falcons jerseys. I got I got my last name. Okay. Okay. No relation. To I y'all go ahead and take that out. Take that out of the video right there. We'll, let you we'll, we'll bleep it. All right. Yeah, Editors, just blur his, <laughs> blur his mouth and bleep his last name. But they gonna know what I'm talking about though. But yeah, um, <laughs> I got that man. Come on, anything that dealing with Atlanta, I got. I got every jersey of it. Like even with baseball, I don't even watch baseball, but shit, all I know, I got that Kuna. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's going crazy. Deal, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, your manager's wearing a T-shirt of a band he's never listened to, so yeah, like facts. it's pretty on brand <laughs> for you to wear a jersey of a team or you know of a sport you don't watch. Sometimes you know, you guys put that shit on. It's the vibe. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Well, Mexico Joe, we've entered a final segment of the podcast. Oh shit! Is it time? It's time, bro. Oh shit! Here we go. Cause I, you know, I couldn't get any more artist producer duos out of him. Yeah, yeah. He didn't tell me where his jerseys were. You One know? might pop up later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a lot of jerseys, man. <laughs> sure. Apparently, they're scattered all over the city. It's like a fucking nah, yeah, man. You gotta play chess, not chess, <laughs> man. Chess with your jerseys, yeah. Facts. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, man, he sold. Nah. I love it, Dro. This is the rapid fire rampage. It's gonna be three little parts. We're just gonna start with some short answer questions, some ask questions. Give me a short answer. I'll explain the other two parts as we go. Let's get into it. Gonna start real simple here, super easy, basic layup. What is the meaning of life? (laughs) (laughs) 
learning to listen. Ooh, okay. Okay. Damn. That was actually the hardest one. I was joking. So that we'll get we'll get a little easier here. So, Joe, you helped put plug on the map. What would you say is the next big wave? Like, if you had to predict the next wave of Atlanta hip hop, like, we, what's the what's the next one? What's the next plug? Any ideas? Shit, Lewis. Just whatever y'all making. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I be, I be, I'm my, my bed. I'm on my. I got my own little shit going on. I don't be really paying too much about really what's going on for real. You know. I just, I just be minding my business, bro. I just man, <laughs> mind my business, make my music, and make your money. Fucking with it, you fucking with it, you know. Yeah, man, I, I, I stay to my, you know. There's got, something, there's something, the I don't, I don't, there's something say, beautiful about that, say, man. Yeah. I don't want to say too much, and you know, everybody be feeling like, oh, that nigga draw don't fuck with a nigga. It's just, man, I just mind my business, man. That's what I do. Yeah, no, it doesn't come across that way at all. Actually, no, it's respectful. It's, it's really interesting. It's like. You could interpret it if we didn't, you know, know your just general stance on it as like, oh, he's just hating. He doesn't care about anyone else or whatever. Doesn't support other people. But like, no, it's almost like you're so into your world and like helping artists that you're working with build these sounds and stuff. Like you're almost like so dedicated that it actually doesn't come across as like laser focused, not giving a fuck. It's actually you give so much fucks about like what you got going on with the people that you're creating with. That it, it is actually One something beautiful about, about it, man, that, man. Like, man, look. Y'all be on the lookout. Man, man, Savage. Y'all yeah. be on the lookout for the new city, Hendrix. Man, y'all be on the lookout for... SETI. Everybody I've been working with, man. I be on the lookout, man. Like, Yo, SETI's like, been on our ass about I interviews. Drop, like, any, everybody I drop with, y'all be on the lookout for these folks. Facts. SETI. I promise we're gonna interview you, man. Yeah, said he, he just, he just DM'd soon. us asking us when we're gonna do yeah, it. Sure. And y'all need to get city on that. We will. We, we will. will. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a great interview, man. Y'all, yes. y'all check sit out. Yes. And you know, set it. Y'all yeah. get man man out here too, definitely. He, oh, yeah. yeah, man. Come on. Yo, he that's yeah. right. That's gonna be a fun ass interview. He's a character. Too. He that's is, man. man. Yeah. You see what I just said, boy. Yeah. yeah come on. Yeah. For sure. Fair. Yes. All right, moving on. Dro, how much to buy all of the beats? On your computer right now. Put a dollar amount on it. I thought you said Dubai. A B A N. A B. A you B. said a big B. One B. I like that. I like that. Damn. You just one of those Bs. That's it. Just, 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 just a little. Just, just one. a single B. One B. So, so <laughs> we're not greedy around here. We just want one B. A label. If y'all want, if y'all want my laptop, if y'all want all these beats, just one B. That's it. <laughs> just Simple. one little Love B. Just one on. One base god. Joe, you can only wear one outfit for the rest of your life. What is it? You know. Well, it's a jersey, but like. <laughs> this is, this <laughs> what is else? a cheat. Yeah, this is the Full, cheat code like, to get the jersey. I, right? I, yeah, this is the Full outfit. You know the jersey. No, we don't. Acuna? Yeah, man. Every, no. no, but which, which jersey? jersey? We need oh, just one outfit. One outfit. Yes. All right, I got so many pairs of black jeans. I'm talking about something. It got to a point. I'm just finding out that I kept buying the same pair of black jeans. <laughs> okay, Bro. black jeans for sure. Okay, so black jeans. Yes. I, I kept buying the same pair of black jeans. Okay. Different brands and everything. Yep. That's easy. So black jeans. So if there's a black jeans like shortage out there, guys, man, Dro bought them all. Man, I'm not. I'm not lying, bro. I got so many black jeans. Man. I just, I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. Um, like, you every, forgot you bought. I got black jeans in every size. <laughs> All right, well, give us kicks and give us top. Like, right. which jersey, what kicks? Black jean, F on one, it's white. Not the black uh, villain forces? I ain't gonna lie, I used to love them blacks. Me too, man. Those are hard. Oh, God, but you said just an outfit that I had one forever, so I gotta be clean forever. True. Yeah. So I gotta have black F on no, white F on ones, yep. black jean, and um, a hot jersey, bro. What hawk's jersey? Lou Will? I'm going hot, man. I'm going. We're going. I'm going. What's on Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, we it. got it out of him. I like it. Yo, 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 yeah, we got Sorry. his favorite jersey out of him. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we see, did it. It just had to circle Good back. Shit, bro. On it. Yeah, I got you. Got your ass, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were going to yeah. tell us your favorite jersey, and you just did. You know. <laughs> Joe, what advice would you give an upcoming producer trying to find their sound? Because you very much found your sound. Man, bro. What can they do? Find your sound. That's a hard, that's a hard uh, question, bro. Yeah. To find a sound, 
It really depend on where the hell you from, bro. Wherever you from, nigga, just you know how your shit, you know how y'all set y'all city sound and stuff. So shit, it just go off of that sound. Shit, I don't know. I mean, I, that ain't that ain't no good advice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> tell myself that shit. Man. But the sound that you know I grew up listening to and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, that shit had a, a, a tremendous. Like it had an impact on my sound too. I'm from Atlanta. I'm from yeah. Yeah, I'm from here. Like you know what I'm saying. So pull from your roots. Yeah, basically, man. It's just- sure. Yo, if someone's never heard the plug sound, right? Like, how would you describe it to like my mom? And you're jacking who's my never rampage. Heard- All right, if your mama ain't never heard, I'd be like, hey, mom. Yeah. <laughs> This is great. I'm gonna show this to my mom. By the way, she watches the pod, so like, I'd be like, so mom, dude, like, yeah, they were going on, like, you know, okay, the young kids and stuff nowadays, they listen to this and they like that. So, you know, I got, you know, I started making beats and stuff like that, and I got this certain type of bounce, certain type of rhythm, and a lot of people like this rhythm and this bounce. So, you know, a lot of people like to, man, it's being different genres being created, mom. <laughs> so look. <laughs> You gotta this check this out. I'm telling you, mama, this 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 the way. This what everybody listens to. They love it. Yes, <laughs> that's amazing. And not only do they love it, it's growing. Yes, it's still growing to this day. To this day, oh, it's exploding. Okay. Still here. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I can't Fire. wait to see so to what my mama, mom says about mama this. Mama here. Yes. Last one of the short answer. This is the cosine corner presented by Guayaki Yerba Mate. Dro, just give us like. A couple, maybe two, three, four, five artists you're just excited about, like up and coming people. Who should we check out? You named a couple, I think, earlier. Maybe, but rename but, them. Yeah, Man, I can give you two right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Man, man, seven, <laughs> seven. Uh, I might give you one more. Let's go. Go one more. Maybe one you're not working with. Just someone you've seen that you're listening to their shit. That I ain't working with. He doesn't do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you just heard the guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, got, I, don't, I don't be listening to nobody else. Like, for real. Yeah. Now, I ain't going to lie to you, man. Hey, nigga Johnny Cinco, nigga. Come on, man. Okay. Johnny, Johnny. Shout out Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Sure. Okay, part two is the hey, this or that. I want to tell y'all, bro, like, hey, man, hey, bro. Y'all need to got y'all need to have Johnny on this this podcast too. I know Johnny. Yeah, for real. Y'all need to go ahead and holler at Johnny and be like, hey Johnny, like you holler at me on the podcast, bro. Yeah. No, I'm with for it. Real. I'm with the Cinco interview, bro. You don't have to tell me twice. Yeah. Shit like I'm pretty sure real. you put me on to Johnny yeah, so Cinco. I, so, I said, did. so I said Johnny, so y'all know Cinco. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, bro. we know. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yes. Part two is the this or that drill. I'm gonna give you two choices. All you gotta do is pick one. Here we go. Rapper. Starting with Snares or claps? Pretty sure I know the answer, but claps. Yeah. Spins eight oh eight or Zay eight oh eight? Spins. X. Yeah, Drums spins. or melodies? I hold up. Let me let me let me elaborate. All right, so look. I ain't even gonna say nothing. Spins. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Spins every way speaks for it fucking self. Yeah. Yes, man. And no, no, no disrespect to none. No, both of the parties. Just, I was just finna say something else. Oh, okay. But, um, no, spins. I, they spin hard, bro. It's just to this day. And still. it got, it got to a point, bro. I done made, I done made my version that spin shit. Like, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't oh, it's been like, retwerked like, like a million I didn't, times. I didn't, re- I didn't doctor this shit. Yeah, like. yeah. So soon enough, it'll be the Dro eight oh eight. It's the Dro nah, spins. Yeah, nah. But one thing, no, I let it be known. Hey, you it was spins first. It was spins first. Yeah, <laughs> spins eight oh eight first. Yes, it's the it's the spins eight oh eight Dro eight. Okay, it was, it was yeah. a remix slash scientific invention. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Frankenstein the, uh, the spins. Like, yeah. yeah, the one. Yeah, fat. <laughs> yeah. That, that made it. You can barely tell that it used to be spins, but like it's you still can tell. Moving on. Drums or melodies? Melodies, man. Hey. Yes. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know what producer need to hear this shit. Yeah, I don't know my notes, but ain't nobody fucking with me on the melodies. <laughs> Facts. Hey, well, who fucking with me on the melodies? Nobody. Nigga, I see you make the million about 10 minutes. I'm talking about just off the top. Just, oh, oh, shit. My old oh, boy. <laughs> Not the Hennessy. Hey, boy. Not on the table. 
Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll yeah, we'll okay. deal with the table. I, but yeah, hopefully damn. the the one out of a thousand black jeans that you own are okay. <laughs> no, these we these we know you don't have many replacements. No, right, they, these ain't even get affected right home. Okay. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> But I'm a, uh, we gonna clean this up too. We gonna get it. He was so yeah, passionate yeah. about his melodies being. Like, That's the man. He's like, yeah, how yeah, important but, is he's shit? He's like, bro, do not fuck with my melodies. Yeah, I ain't bro. gonna lie to you. That, that how you know how passionate about this shit. Right. You know y'all nigga ain't fucking with a nigga. I don't care who you will. No. Hey, but nah, I ain't, I ain't talking shit though. I'm just. I'm just being a little bit. I'm, I'm being nah. I, I'm just being funny about this. Come I on, now. You, nah, you, sure. If you make some beats, you are gonna be like, nigga, ain't nobody fucking with my melody. Nigga. Come on, now. I mean, I make beats and people people are fucking with my melody. I know that, but I'm saying you, you, man, it's a certain type of standard that you go hold. Absolutely. Every man, shit, nigga, ain't nobody fucking with nothing I got going on that I'm passionate about. Oh, I pop my podcast that's shit that's, all the time, bro. Man, yeah, yeah, no bro. one's touching my interviews, ain't bro. With your interview. nobody's yes. touching my fucking so if you interviews, know, ain't nobody bro. Nobody fucking with your interview. Then you already know how I feel. About this man, come on. If the Hennessy yeah, was man, close I, enough, I, I would have spilled it. Nah, saying you know, nobody fucks. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that Hennessy, bro. Sometimes you gotta knock that shit over about that shit because you That's, passionate and you serious about that, bro. So knock that shit over, bro. I, you gonna clean that, knock up. that shit over, clean bro. It up, man. Knock that shit, man. Knock it. Go ahead. But you gotta do it, bro. You feel me? Knock oh, it. Oh, shit. There it is. <laughs> but we gonna clean it up. But we gonna clean it up. <laughs> For real. But we gonna clean it up. Yeah. Oh my God. We got it, bro. You don't have to. You don't have to do it. Yeah. yeah. I got some more. I got a couple more questions. Yeah, Henry's got it. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so melodies over drums, but drums or flats? Drums or who? <laughs> drums or flats? Oh, you talking about some chicken? We switched to chicken. <laughs> hey, let me tell you about this. I ain't no chicks since 2019, bro. What? Oh, wow. So what I got? I'm pescatarian. Really? Okay, so My fish. We do fish. All right. Wow. Okay. okay, facts. Twitter or threads? Are you on threads yet? Hey man, that's it. Twitter. <laughs> He's this close to saying something that we need to hear. I know. We'll leave it alone. It's cool. Man. Magic City or Follies? I right know. Twitter. Twitter, yeah. <laughs> Magic City or Follies? Man, listen, bro. <laughs> These are important questions. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I ain't even a Magic City fan like that. And then finally, I ain't, I, don't, I ain't never been in there. I don't think. I don't know. I gotta find. I gotta think. I gotta really find out. <laughs> it's but gone I, now. Man, hey, look. I used to go to God. I tell them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We need the story. Come on, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, we're so here. Look, man, nigga used to go to rumors and shit. Like, rumors, facts. Man, man, hey, bro. We, hey, look. We tired. We, you know, what I'm saying we, we can got them chilled at the block for a long time. Shit. Sometimes. We in the night with rumors, or we in the night with wax. Okay. Or we in the night with not a wax, it was some bullshit. Okay. But we, but we in the night with goddamn flying too. Yep. Blue flame. Shit. I keep going, but I ain't finna keep the same. No, that's good. That's but good. not a Magic City fan, huh? What? How come? No, no, I, feel like, I feel like man, yeah, man, come on, everybody coming to Atlanta to go to Magic City. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a tourist destination at this point. Yeah. Magic for City, sure. I nigga, old nigga, check for this shit. Everybody <laughs> coming to Atlanta for Magic City. Yeah, let's get let's get him paid for that. Right. All right. Cool. That endorsement. Um, well, yeah, we're seeing that clip. <laughs> Look how serious he is uh, <laughs> about Magic you know, City paying him to yeah, have said that. When you hear about Atlanta, you hear about Magic City. Yeah. I know that's yeah. crazy. Nice. What a, yeah? What other like the city? Cheetah, the Cheetah. No, like, no. I'm saying also, what other city? Like, do you know them by like a strip club in the city? Well, I know Miami because of Live. I don't know is how that strip club. Not. Yeah, nah. I know some clubs. Well, they nah, got like man, strippers I, in I, there, kind of. Nah, nah. One thing about it, look, Onyx. Y'all look, mm -hmm. Onyx. Cheshire Bridge. Nigga, I almost nigga. <laughs> we almost had a couple, bro. I need, <laughs> I need security guards. Hey. Y'all be tripping. Y'all be playing. Y'all be real deal live trip. <laughs> Our management has advised us to move to the next question. Um, <laughs> so, Dro, you can you either have to give up all your sports related clothing, never wear sports no clothing jerseys. again, or you got to switch from FL to something else. So, what I'm going to wear next? Anything else? I don't know. Black tin, black jean. Give up, but if you but you got to you have to choose. You either give up all your sports clothes or give up FL Studio. Which one are you giving up? Sports clothes. Yeah. Damn. No jerseys. Damn, them jerseys are shit. Fuck them. He needs you know FL. How much money the FL, FL is making you. Make? Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. True. I start. I started doing the math in yeah. my head, and then I yeah, realized. Yeah, you know that, them sports clothes that you done paid for ain't gonna make you nothing. Right? Yeah. 
Make make they you cost, something make you something when you turn about ninety years old. <laughs> other than that shit, home, you, yeah. you might well rack it up. Yeah, right? yep. that Matumbo jersey so, might so be yeah, worth something. FL Studio before some jerseys. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually that's, making money. That's the most intelligent answer. Yeah. All right. The last part is the word association. So I'm gonna just say one word, and then you just give me one word, the first word that you think of off the top of your head, mm-hmm. right back at me. Here we go. Starting with hip hop. See, you said the first word, and I'm automatically thinking about something stupid. That's fine. That's what we want. We accept stupid. That's nah, how. I ain't, I ain't. That, that's how we go viral, <laughs> Joe. Get my least intelligent answer on this play. <laughs> now nah, we ain't showing nobody that nigga just be airheaded or something. <laughs> what does that have to be? Some like you said, hip hop. Yeah. Shit. All right. First answer. Yeah. First thing you think of. Producer, yeah, nice. That Zone. was a safe answer, by the way, but that's fine. Zone, very safe. What you want me? <laughs> <laughs> I need something dangerous, bro. We're trying to run through. I, 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 I try to sit a nigga ass up. Dude. <laughs> shit, that was, I okay. would have. You too. Fair enough. Zone. Foul. Baseball. Never been. <laughs> Lunch. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Salad or some shit. Salad or something. Oh, guys, I like oh. health game. I like it. I mean, I don't eat till about 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock every day. Oh, God. No I'm lunch. Like, what? Sometimes 12. Yeah. What? Hey, sometimes I go to the studio 8 to 12 o'clock. So when I got the studio, mm. of course, I got to go to get the, the, the food. So Are there oh. salad spots open at 12? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you can get some good noodles and some chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the spot. Noodles, chips, yep. and some cookies, nigga. That, that you good. You're set. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Bitcoin. I don't know. <laughs> Snake. Uh, a rat. Platinum. Good job. <laughs> Trump. Who? That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what would you say? Trump. Trump? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, money. I, I still like the who better. But yeah. <laughs> both good answers. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I ain't no, no disrespect to no parties. Right. But, um, yeah, money. Lil. Lil? Lil. Shit. Lil, nigga. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we didn't get a rapper. It was amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Then, <laughs> no, I think no, I think one time we got Lil Bruh. Uh, I think Lil Bruh. that might be a rapper. I bet he's on Spotify. It's probably a rapper. Guaranteed. That might be a rapper too. All right, just just a couple more here. Wrapping up. OnlyFans. <laughs> she grinding. <laughs> on the grind. Get your paper. She and grind. Mexico. And Mexico. Mexico? <laughs> she cartel, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, y'all, hey, y'all need beats, bro. Hey, home. <laughs> this has been the Mexico Dro interview on the One More Time podcast. As always, yes. please like, comment, and subscribe if you fuck with this interview. Man, this was fun. Enjoyed it, man. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for Appreciate coming on. Appreciate you coming bro. on. Appreciate hey, man. Putting Appreciate these people y'all. on game. Appreciate y'all for having me, man. Hey, also. Appreciate King Palm, man. I don't, y'all, yeah, yeah, smoking big sticks in yes. Hennessy. Nah, Sorry, we, we, we ain't sp- smoking those, but you feel me? We, yeah. we need more leaves. We do. Yeah. We We're running leaves. low on the sure. leaves. Yeah, we need the real leaves. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, Thanks, yeah, Joe. Yeah. And then yeah, throw that oh, in. Oh, and another thing too. Thing. Yeah. Shout out Off Key Supply. Selling man, these come shirts. on, man. I go grab y'all auto tune. Look at yes. that. Right I said, hey, home. I was just at Auto Zone yesterday, bro. I said, there you go. I, th- I thought it was selling I was on t-shirts I <laughs> Oh damn My bad hold on. I mean scratch, Yeah put that out Take that out Yeah but, uh, <laughs> Yeah fast Auto tune man Y'all go get y'all a t-shirt man Definitely from uh, My man's them Yeah Offkeysupply.com Offkeysupply.com Man y'all go check them out man. Yes sir one. Much love Until next weekend yeah. What we're doing We're getting out of here Getting the fuck out of here Peace Peace y'all Pop that shit like one more time Pop that shit like one more time Pop that shit like one more time Pop that one more time